Some human rights advocates in Nigeria have expressed worry over the non-implementation of recommendations of the several judicial panels of inquiries that investigated violations of citizens' rights by the police leading to 2020 NSAS protest. They say many state governments have not exhibited adequate political will to implement the recommendations and bring justice to aggrieved citizens. This was during the launch of the report on the panel's exercise in three states of Anambra, Lagos and Oyo, including the Federal Capital Territory Abuja. Our correspondent, Indong Joseph, compiled this report. Several judicial panels of inquiries were established in 29 out of 36 states across the country in 2020, following widespread complaints of gross human rights violations by citizens, which sparked the popular NSAS protests in Nigeria. Many believe this will present citizens an opportunity to express their grievances, report infractions by the police, which has steadily led to loss of confidence on the nation's police force and justice for infractions suffered. However, three years since the protests which shook the very foundation of the nation, rights advocates converged on the nation's capital, Abuja, to review recommendations of the judicial panels accusing state governments of failing to implement them. We saw some panels that had to be suspended uh, for what, usually for financial constraints. Um, we saw that there were also technical challenges that many of the panels had. When the report came from FCT, we, our report recommended that certain people would be paid compensation and certain police officers, about 29 or so, should be retired and some should be prosecuted. The report was submitted None of them has, none of this man has been queried. Our work was to um, make findings and then do the necessary recommendation to the government. And um, we have done that. Now, you realize, apart from that, there are so many other cases that uh, young people who have utilized and um, up to now, uh, nothing has been done. They also add, that state governments must live up to their responsibilities while calling for police reforms. The state should not think that because these panels were directed to be set up by the federal government, it therefore becomes the sole responsibility of the federal government to deal with issues arising from these panels. We call on the state to apologize to the families of the victims including the families of those who are still in incarceration. If you have a country where young people continually feel that the state does not care for them and will look the other way when another agent of the state, another arm of the state is doing them harm, we will be uneasy. We will, we will, be, at, it will be a state of unease in the country. And we really need to take this seriously. With many young Nigerians still disillusioned, over the conduct of police personnel across the country, especially as it regards the continuous violation of human rights of citizens. Rights advocates here are calling for the implementation of the reports from the panels of inquiries to avoid the repeat of the NSAS protests.